Good morning and thanks for watching Fox 44 First Edition. The time right now is 8.24 and joining us in studio is DEA Special Agent in Charge, Brad Byerly. And you're here today to talk about, it's actually the 19th annual event, but it's so important, our Prescription Drug Take Back Day. It's going to be taking place on Saturday and for our friends at home that may not be familiar with what that is, how would you explain it? Well, Kellyanne, first of all, thank you for having me on the show this morning to talk about the Drug Enforcement Administration's 19th National Drug Take Back Day. Drug Take Back Day is D a DEA-led initiative supported by state and local law enforcement. And what we're trying to do here is provide a service to where we collect and dispose of in a safe and reliable and responsible way these pharmaceuticals, these prescription drugs, and over-counter drugs that languish in the home medicine cabinet. Absolutely. What's the importance of that, though? Well, well, there's it's also with this initiative, we want to educate the general public on the dangers of prescription drug abuse. And the reason this is so important, and I'm so glad you asked that, because I get that question regularly. Mm -hmm. why, why do you do drug take back? Why is this important? Well, it's important because right now, 71 thousand Americans a year die of drug overdose. Six million, approximately, Americans right now are addicted to prescription drugs. And studies have shown us that many of those that are addicted to prescription drugs and many of those that are first encounter with the prescription drugs comes from a friend, a family member, to include the home medicine cabinet. Absolutely. And so specifically, you're kind of saying like grandma might have some opioid pills from a knee surgery still left in the cabinet, but not realizing that potentially that's enabling another family member. That is absolutely correct in, what, in the statement that you made. Mm -hmm. That's what we're seeing all the time. Um, are these prescription drugs that are left in the home medicine cabinet, these expired, unused, um, you know, just been sitting there for a year or two, and people forget they even have them. And we used a, had a slogan a few years ago, it's called, don't be the drug dealer. And we mm -hmm. would say, hey, you could be the drug, a drug dealer and not even know it if you have these unused, pres expired prescription drugs in your home medicine cabinet. So what's different this year, considering all the safety guidelines that are being put in place? Great question, because what's not different this year, just in its totality with 2020? Well, what we're doing a little bit different is all of our locations, we have around five to 6,000 nationwide. We have several here in the Baton Rouge metro area, and I'll give you those addresses here in a minute, and I'll tell uh, our audience how to how to best find a location near you but what's different is everything's going to be on a drive-through basis so people are not going to have to get out of their vehicle they're going to be able to drive into a, an area we're going to have personnel out there following COVID-19 state and local guidelines with the mask gloves they're going to hand us their stuff to drop off. This is a free and anonymous program. We're not going to ask questions. We're not trying to make an investigation against you. Drop them off. Get them out of your house. We'll dispose of them. Well, I'm going to take some of the responsibility off your back because unfortunately that's the end of this interview because I, we could talk for hours. Uh, you are so informative and have so much information in regards to how this prescription drug will I is impacting South Louisiana. So in regards to locations, I'm going to put that on our website okay. so people can just look for this story. Um, I'll also post the event times and days, but real quick, it's this Saturday? It's this Saturday, 10 to 2. Go to DEATakeback.com, put in your uh, zip code. It'll tell you the location nearest you and Baton Rouge uh, Police Headquarters and Women's Hospital here in the metro area are two of our largest areas where we'll be collecting. Awesome. Thank you, and you're welcome back anytime. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure. All right, friends, we'll stick around. Coming up, the clock is ticking for Congress as it comes to coronavirus relief before November's election. What lawmakers believe should be included in that bill? That's next when Fox 44 First Edition returns.